Dude. For a long time, we were living like the animals. And then, one day, we decided to stop living like the animals and start doing other different, weird, strange things, like harvesting the land. And we did it because... We did it because it's... Like, after all that time of living like the animals, we decided to change 10,000 years ago or 12,000 years ago or something around that time. And I believe it's to get off the planet. It's like we're, we took a leap and we have got to act fast because we set a fire to expel us out. But we have to get out of this planetary confinement. I think the combustion is a piece of the puzzle. We can combust to create heat, to create electricity that we can pass through salt water or some... Uh, chemical compound or structure, maybe like salt water, maybe even more prone to combustion. So a chain reactive combustive process, starting with oil, a little bit of oil, combust it in heat up the elect to electrify another substance to release the hydrogen and have a hydrogen reaction and combine it with a hydrocarbon reactor. Oil is petroleum. It's carbon based. Oil is like broken down life. So we got to move fast. We got to get off the planet. We've been burning. We, we took this jump, this leap by overcrowding. We're like, go, go. But we can't do this on the planet. There's too many people. We've got to expand off the planet. So we've got to use other means than just burning oil. We've got to use magnetism a lot more. We have like maglev trains, but we need to fly with magnetism. With electro uh, magnets, we can create immensely powerful magnetic forces like that can lift trains into the air and maybe we're just telling a story about it as we're going but the technology is there and I'm piecing it together so if we can put enough electricity through a magnet or through an electromagnet all the atoms face the same direction hard and strongly and then you have another one all the atoms are facing the direction, hard and strongly, the other direction, moving away from each other. You can use the Earth itself as a magnet. It's a stretch, but I think it's... It, of course, it has poles, man. Or it has poles. Camera. <laughs> um, the magnetic poles are there. We can, we can push away from it in a gradu gradified process, graduified process in a controlled process. We can move and move in the air so it seems like we're flying, but we're actually just moving into a place constantly and at a fast speed sometimes and then a slow speed and then you can control it. We're getting there. Now's the time. Like We have hit, hit the internet. The war is seen by everybody so they can see it's not the right way. As a quick addition, I propose that we power this whole concept, all the expansive thoughts that people are, all the electricity and all this, by using fusion, which is occurring in the Earth's core, by tapping into that power and using that, letting the Earth itself power us, become part of it, move with it.
move outside of it and into the vastness of space where we can maneuver in our own direction. The earth becomes like an entity that we can pass into and out of 